Once again, we welcome you to Gladiators of the Cage here at Stage AE on Pittsburgh's fabulous North Shore as we get set for the first bout of the night. And we're welcoming Daniel O'Neill out of Huntington, Pennsylvania. He's ready to walk into the ring in our first amateur bout of the night, guys. Daniel O'Neill in the ring right now. His record one and one as an amateur. Donald Barr, Donald Barr, Kinsack. And our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, calling in his opponent, Donald Barr. There he is out of Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Record of one and two. So we got Daniel Bard here. He's got an AMI record of um, one and two. And we'll see if he can uh, get back into this. Um, looks like his last uh, last fight he won. Take a look at our comparison right now. O'Neill, five feet seven inches tall, 135 pounds. A record of one and one. He has reached 67 inches. Bard is. 5'9", he has two inches on O'Neill, 135 pounds, one and two his record, and he also has a couple of inches in reach on him, 69 inches in our tail of the tape here in our Gladiators of the Cage in our first bout. Donald Bard is coming off. Donald Bard's coming off uh, knockout of the night last uh, stage AE event. Now let's go to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our opening contest of the evening. It calls for three two-minute rounds. It's in the amateur bantamweight division. First, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 146 pounds. He weighed, his height is five foot seven inches, a reach of 67 inches with a record. One win, one loss. He fights from Central PA MMA from Huntington, Pennsylvania, Dan O'Neill. And his opponent, weighing in at 140 pounds, he weighed, his height is five foot nine inches tall, with a reach of 69 inches. His record is one win, two losses. He fights for the Academy of Martial Arts and Sciences, known as Team AMS from Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Colin Don Bard. Well, guys, tell me what to expect between O'Neill and Bard here tonight. Uh, Don Bard is coming off a knockout of the night performance. His favorite fighters are Stefan Bonner and Forrest Griffin, two guys who put really MMA on the mainstream map. He's not afraid to throw down, and he takes it right down to the mat. Surprising, he likes to stand up, KO of the night. Obviously, he's not afraid on the feet, but here we are on the ground. O'Neal looks really calm in there, and he's looking for that uh, hip over sweep. Might have a good opportunity to take in a Kimura here. He almost pulled off that sweep, and yeah, Adam, he's... Uh, it's, a, it's a nice transition into that. Um, but again, I, I'm actually uh, really impressed with how calm he is. I mean, normally a lot of uh, younger fighters, as far as experience-wise, tend to get a little crazy in there. We, we have an armbar threat here. Or Noma Plata, perhaps, if Dan can, he, he, I can see right away he's working his hips really well. He's, he's got good hip movement on the ground. He's not just laying flat on his back. And uh, here he is sitting up. Right, and, and he's attacking too, which is, uh, that, that's a key point, especially, you know, when you're fighting um, 
you know, you want to you wanna always tack. If you're on your back, the guy on the top is normally the guy that's the aggressor in the judge's eyes, and normally is going to get the, uh, you know, uh, that round. But, oh, he gets nice. a hip over sweep. Absolutely that, beautiful. That was pretty. Yeah, that was nice. 30 seconds left in the first round on our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital clock. Dan O'Neill's got full mount. He's got the underneath hooks. Now, unfortunately, he can't ground a pound in that si this situation right now. And unfortunately, that, that, may, that makes it bad. But um, in, in the judge's eyes, again, he's, he is now winning. If he finishes on top, he's, he's actually going to probably win this round. Last few seconds. Nice sweep. Nice sweep by Dan O'Neill. Yeah, that was that way was to nice. end the round on top. And he even he even did a little ground and pound motion there on the shoulders that can, you know, just get in the head of an uh, amateur fighter. Let's take a look at that reversal. I like the way he postured himself up. He's 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 doing a great job he keeping his, that leg beautifully. Yeah, he, he did a great job keeping his head off the floor. And he uh, picked up and uh, you know he caught that on for that uh, reversal that hip over sweep it was nice. North Shores rise to power four. Dan O'Neill. That's Don Bard you're looking at on your screen right now. There. There's O'Neill in his corner. Getting set for round two. Guys, Dan O'Neill, uh, for a one and one amateur fighter, he, he looks about as relaxed as you can look out there. Now he's got uh, Donald Bard on his back again to start the round off. This is a bad spot for Bard. Yeah, he's in that side control position. Uh, Bard's got that overhook on the uh, on the head, but uh, he's got it. Well, right now, actually, he's up against a cage. He's going to use the cage exactly to try to get back to guard or either get back up. He's got two decisions here to make. And, uh, well, he's sitting real heavy on his left hip. He's got to switch that left hip over and pull guard here. He's yeah. got half guard now. There we go. He's really holding on to that uh, that that head of Dan O'Neill. It's yeah. not a threat at all, really. Um, Especially it looks like O'Neill is actually getting into a mounted position. It's it, it's it, more of an annoyance than anything else right now. Yeah. It's, it's almost like Bart is, is trying to hold on to that as a submission attempt, but it's not going to be even close to one. Uh, and he used it, it, to sweep. He used yeah. it wisely. That was a great job. Here he goes for a takedown. He's got one now. Uh, Dan O'Neill's got a guillotine. He didn't even look like he wanted to try to defend that. I think he wants to try to submit him. O'Neill going for the uh, arm man guillotine. And we have and a tap. He, he taps. Wow. Boy, he must have been pulling hard on that. Great job by O'Neill. O'Neill looked so relaxed on the ground. Uh -oh. He looked really relaxed even on his back. Yeah, that was really impressive, especially for a younger fighter experience wise. And Bard looks awfully disappointed coming off that KO of the night performance. Uh, you know, he's pretty deject dejected. Ending the night like that. Let's take a look at those last couple of moves in this bout. No, I, you know, we were talking about this. We didn't think that was actually going to work for him, but he actually used that to reverse and uh, eventually got back on top, but he went straight for that arm and guillotine, which is really impressive. And uh, here's the tap. Yeah, Bart had Bard. a uh, Bart had a nice escape from basically a mounted position by O'Neill, but he really left his head and neck out there and uh, O'Neill took a hold of it. Mm. Tremendous show of strength, huh? Yeah. Good sportsmanship by these guys. I mean, these, these guys are in here just to have fun and put on a show. Dan O'Neill, Don Bard. In front of a packed house here at Stage AE on the North Shore of Pittsburgh tonight.
Not a bad way to start the evening. I think everybody enjoys uh, at least a submission or a TKO or something like that. Absolutely. Not going to decision. Good fight. Chip Snyder is with the fighters right now. Dan Bogan is the ring announcer. And let's go to Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at one minute, 21 seconds of round two by the guillotine show, fighting out of the red corner, Dan O'Neill! Right now, let's go to Richie Walsh inside the ring with the winner, Dan O'Neill. Richie. Hold on one second. Let's give it up for Dan O'Neill, the winner here in the first round, the first bout. So how's this feel? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. Uh, I've been doing a lot of kickboxing. I don't get to do MMA that much whenever I can. It's always fun. At what point did you know you were in control of this fight? Um, probably the first time I went to the ground. Uh, it probably didn't look like it to you guys, but um, I was keeping in my guard pretty good. So I started trying for like a Goga Plata, a Noah Plata. But, uh, yeah, somewhere in about the middle of the first round, I knew I wanted him on the ground. Did you expect a submission at all? Um, yeah, I was I was thinking coming into this, uh, had some intel from some other guys, some tough guys that had fought him and trans him in the past, and they said, uh, yeah, probably submission was the way to go. So I listened to them. And, uh, Seems like you had a lot of fans here. Yeah, not really. You want to thank anyone? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Um, thank you to uh, well these two guys from CPA MMA, Ryan Grun and Dan Harris. I took this fight on like two day notice and they cleared their schedule to come out. Um, everybody watching at home uh, who couldn't make it from CPA MMA and uh, my family in Princeton State College in uh, Westchester, thank you guys, love you. And uh, the few people that cheered for me, thank you, wherever you guys are. <laughs> All right, Dan, congratulations, great job. Back to you guys. All right, Richie, thank Let's you much. Dan, Dan O'Neill wins the first bout. More coming up on Gladiators of the, the Cage next. Among the